Hello, and welcome to a special Napit edition of Smart with Art. Today we're going to make a stamp and use that on a piece of white paper to kind of replicate a dinker cloth. And a dinker cloth is hand printed and hand embroidered cloth, which was most often used for mourning ceremonies when someone died. But now it's worn for a variety of social occasions. It was most commonly found in Ghana, but it's found in a lot of parts of West Africa too. Adinkra stamps are usually carved from calabash gourds. And so the stamps have various symbols that would be meaningful and um, mean something to the person who wears it. So we have all these different symbols here that you can look at to get an idea. And you can also make your own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little stamp using an old wood block and some of this little foam here that's got sticky back on it. So my symbol represents my family because I have a house and there are four people living in it. There's two adults and two children. So that's the symbol I chose to make because our house is made of four people. And that's a really big important part of my life. So um, what we'll start to do is you're going to get your paper and of course you're going to write your name on it. And then you're also going to get your block and write your name on that too. And then you're also going to get your block and write your name on that too. And then we have all different shapes. Right it's not actually going to matter what color the shape is. And then we have because all different um, shapes. they're going to stamp and we're going to use black ink because most adinkras uh, cloth um, uses that black ink on the cloth. Black ink because most adinkras. So then I'm going to turn this over. Uses that black ink on the cloth. And this one's already so then I'm kind of the shape that I want. So I'm just going to peel the and sticky this back off it. Off kind of the shape that I want. So I'm just going to stick it down here. Back off it. Off stick it down here and then I've got this one here and I would like to make some rectangles and with then it so I'm just going to use some scissors here, and, I would and like I'm going to cut them first before taking the sticky so part off some scissors and I'm going to cut them first before taking the sticky part off all right and then it's just matter of taking off the backing all right and then it's just matter of taking off the backing These are a little bit longer than the ones I have for my other example. These are a little bit longer than the ones I have for my other example. Then you're going to take your stamp pad, and I've noticed the first time you're you going to do this, stamp pad, you really kind of have to and get I in there and the first time you move it around a little this, bit to get that ink on there. You can see here that the ink is evenly spread. Move it around a little bit to kind of try a couple different places. Here that the ink is evenly spread. Now I kind of look at it and it looks like it's got the black part and um, completely covered. Black is completely covering it. Got the black part. I'm going to turn it to this side. And just, and just make a row by pressing firmly. And just make a row by pressing firmly on my paper. So it looks like I can get about two stamps worth in it. You might paper. want to just go back and forth. So it forth. looks like I can get about two stamps worth in it. You might want to just go back and forth. Maybe you have a neighbor that did a stamp and you can trade with them. And have an alternating Maybe you have a neighbor that did a pattern on there. And trade with them and have an alternating pattern on there. There you go, there's our little paper replica of a dinker cloth. And there you go, there's our little paper replica of a dinker cloth.